Did you know that scientists don't really use the Richter scale anymore to measure earthquake magnitude? There are actually many different kinds of magnitude scales, but the most commonly used one is called the moment magnitude scale, and it's built off the tenets of the Richter scale. So there were these two guys, Richter and Gutenberg, and they developed the first magnitude scale in the 1930s to quantify earthquakes by comparing the size or the amplitude of seismic waves plotted against distance. And that distance was calculated by looking at the difference between the arrival time of different types of earthquake waves but there was a problem. They were not able to record all of the frequencies from large earthquakes. So the Richter scale did a great job with smaller local earthquakes in Southern California, which is where they were, but it underestimated large earthquakes worldwide. Since the 1930s, obviously, like seismologists and engineers have developed more sensitive seismometers, faster computers, and all of those things allow us to record and interpret a broader range of seismic signals. This allows us to better determine the energy released by large earthquakes. So now seismologists no longer just look at the amplitude of the seismic waves, but instead use much more information that's contained in the seismogram to calculate what is called the seismic moment. So the seismic moment defines um, basically how much force is needed to generate the waves that we recorded on the seismometers. And it's defined by factors like the rigidity of the rocks, the area of the fault that slipped, and how far the fault moved. Again, this is a big deal because now seismologists can use moment magnitude to determine and describe the size of earthquakes um, based on the energy released and not just the amplitude of the recorded waves.